Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, how are you? You know, it's me, it's a bad bitch, a coconut water connoisseur, a transgender advocate, a entrepreneur, a chief executive officer, and amazing dancer. And you know, that. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Anyway guys, welcome back. As you can tell from the description of this video, um, we are talking about Colin Jordan and Cool Pago returns. <laughs> Uh, so over the past like couple of weeks, ever since I was in the motel, I just realised that I really, really, really should not have given up the effort. Not that I ever gave up um, the business, but uh, if I had continued it from where we first launched, I'm in the very worst of this video. <laughs> Enough of five dollars hot chips a day, and um, what actually happened? Uh, I left obviously from another video that I did. <laughs> Matt, the quick over had. Uh, what I can tell you guys is my point of view from that one. Um, from when I left the dream team and left um, that lot, I was obviously just like, oh my god. I've been here, I've been there a lot ever since, um, and yeah, I got so stressed out that I just couldn't do it anymore. And the actual name Diamond Wear was not, it was not something that I had chosen, um, but I'm so proud of everything that we've stood for. Uh, and then like I did continue to endeavour with the business, like um, we done the, the track suits, which were amazing. Uh, the you heard hoodies, which were fucking. I think the only person, other than like, I think we've been only done the you heard hoodies like maybe at ten of them. Those so you heard hoodies, and they're just so iconic. Oh, I want to buy one back. But we won't be doing apparel anymore. The apparel line, um, unless you're like Ariana Grande, a singer, something like that, or I'm not too sure. Well, I, it's not the only way, but I feel as though at this stage in my life, I invested so much money into apparel and it just, it was a very um, fickle uh, item to go and collect and buy for Oh, look. What can I say? Uh, so, yeah, and but I didn't try so much with that. And then we finally brought out the necklaces. The rose quartz necklaces, the moon necklaces, and those were honestly amazing. That was awesome. That was great. That was stunning. We were back on a roll. Things were getting really good again. Uh, we had invested so much money into our packaging with our stunning little pyramid. The following Jordan's logo here is a pyramid. So to get your little pyramid and open that is a Jennifer. I was so proud of that. However, circumstances changed uh, because I was also working full time um, and where I was working, if you know, you know. And unfortunately, my relationship there just completely deteriorated because of not just me, like literally. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I normally say the reason I left is because. My friend, who was my best friend at work, turned around and told me that they were no longer my friend, um, and not to speak to them, and just made the next two, three weeks absolutely unbearable. And I know why. I absolutely know why. It's a jealousy thing. Jealousy is the most hideous trait. And not that I was jealous, but it was, um, it doesn't... It's doing successful on, on TikTok and it's doing amazing, but at the end of the day, people still would come in and be like, oh my god, it's Jordan. And that's a fact. And that's what my ego would say. The reality of it is that I think that, um, I was not living a lie, but, um, 
And at the end of the day, as with someone that's formed the training school that I shouldn't have been put in that working environment, but because I'm so stunning and amazing and I love um, working, I was thrown out. But yeah, I actually legally left um, McDonald's on medical leave, so um, I was under the impression that I was m being moved on to the recuperation. A medical allowance for changing the people. I was actually put on that particular one, but not the one I wanted, which has been, oh, absolutely. Oh, I can't describe how difficult it has been to be on such a city in Canada. And so there, I left, I left McDonald's to go on to a medical leave, which is going to last the rest of my life. If you need more info on that, you'll have to like hit me up in the comment section or whatever because I just can't, I don't think, can I? But with the business now moving forward, um, so some of my goals in life is I've always wanted to be the Chief Executive Officer. If anyone was the Pioneer business we had back in um, Intermediate and the, I can't remember the, na the name of the other business, but I was the, the CEO two years in a row. And that was phenomenal. The point of the story is that um, those foundations are going to take me through to my future. And through my business, we need to raise $25,000 for. Oh, my surgery is falling here. Because I want to live at least one year in my 20s in my true body. Not this. Not a mistake, not that this was a mistake, this is the most beautiful, stunning body you could ever ask for, but I don't want this but This is... I'm the voice for the height. Oh. Point of the moral of the story is, is that we, I believe that if I invest everything I have into my business next year, become a sustainable business, I can make my dream come true and get my surgery the following year. Watch this space, guys. So what have we ordered? So everything is, um, it's not on its way. I've kind of just, I've ordered them. And what we're doing is I'm paying it off stagnantly over the few weeks. Because what I wanted to do is I didn't want to launch with just one or two things. Because as we know, I've done bath bombs. I've done, um, We've done bath bombs, we've done apparel, we've done sunglasses, we've done shampoo uh, bars, we've done conditioners, we've done um, jewellery, we've done everything but we haven't actually released everything together as one. So in my dream for the website is that you'll click on the website and you'll have four tabs. Jordan, um, it'll have Follow Jordan Incorporated, it'll have the eyewear, which is obviously all the sunglasses, Eventually there will be contacts, sleeping glasses, anything to do with the eyes. Uh, and then we'll have our jewellery line, which is obviously uh, core focused on um, real gems and jewels. And if you've heard of H2O Botanical on Instagram, their beautiful little boutique jewellery store, that's what I imagine my jewellery line to look like. Then moving into the... Um, what is that? The hair care. So ever since I was little as well, uh, I wanted to be a hairdresser and have my own um, hair products, which is already a reality. We have had the original Following Jordan shampoo bars, which were so much fun to make and do those. And it was also really iconic because I launched them. It kind of was like a, mm, not too sure. And then a few months later, after I had stopped, boom, shampoo bars were popping. What I was going to say is when I left that team and stopped doing diamond wear, I opened the doors for so many other businesses to flourish and have success, which is me sharing my greatness. <laughs> nah, that's probably the most... <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I just cut 
check that out. Moving back, so we've got the eyewear, the jewellery, the hair care. Now with the hair care we are not launching the hair care until the spring. Let me get my book. The hair care is coming on the first of December. Yeah, here we go. So it's on the 1st of uh, December. So on the 1st of November, we'll be relaunching Follows with Incorporated, the uh, Follows with Eyewear, and uh, the Jewelry Line. On the 1st of December, a month later, we will be. I'm adding to the collection with the this side hair product or hair care. I haven't really decided whether it's going to be this side hair care or this side this side hair product. Not too sure. The wording, yeah. And then on the twentieth of December, we're doing something outrageous that you might think is odd, um, but so we're doing is called XXX eighteen. Okay, so that's what the category is called, and we will be selling uh, lubes, two different types of lubes. Uh, we want to do dildos and lubes and condoms. Why? Because, keep it right, bitch, we need to prevent HIV here in New Zealand, and one way that we can help contribute that, along with my endeavours to be a transgender advocate, is to combine the two. Um, so, I had a dream that I sponsored. Like, not the big gay out or whatever, with all these, like, condoms. Yeah. I had a dream. Anyway, that was it. And then, um, and those are on the four tabs, so you would open, obviously, click on the tab and you open do all that. For the sunglasses, we are relaunching with, that is, the diamond wear. Uh, we only have three different of those. Then we have another line called Vintage 22, which is obviously just the stunning number I came up with. And there's like three or four different glasses in that, two different types. And then there is the uh, Festival Essentials. Uh, and just between you and I, there is like one of those. Oh, I cannot wait. And yeah, and then we also uh, will be relaunching with our Amethyst. Um, which I don't have on, strangely, our Amethyst Pendants. And I know from our last orders that we did do, I actually ended up giving them all out for friends and stuff. Uh, we gave those pendants out to all our friends because the chains were just um, not a reflection of, of who we are as a company. And you guys, that's my story. And I had to quickly round this up because we only have 20 seconds left or else we get YouTube becomes a issue. If you did like our video, make sure you give us a huge thumbs up. Comment any thoughts uh, down below if you are excited. No, to answer your question, we're not doing pre-sales with this launch. Only to close friends and family. Oh my god, I'm having another bite. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell for all post notifications, and have a good day.